My dear confreres, my dear Redemptoristine sisters, my dear sisters associated with our Redemptorist mission, my dear Redemptorist partners in our mission, our associates, our collaborators, and our Redemptorist lay missionaries, warm greetings to you. The month of November, we Redemptorists, celebrate as the month of the Redemptorist missionary vocation. It is a special month for us Redemptorists, as it was on the 9th of November, 1732, 291 years ago, that St. Alphonsus Maria de Liguori founded our congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer. As a response to the call he experienced coming from Jesus, through the poor. The year 1730, Alphonsus, a Neapolitan from the city of Naples, who gave up a successful career as a lawyer to become a priest in Naples, was exhausted from his missionary labors. His doctors ordered him to get some rest and breathe some clean mountain air. With a few of his companions, he went to Scala on the Amalfi coast, south of Naples. High up in the mountains was the sanctuary, the shrine of Santa Maria dei Monti, Holy Mary of the mountains. A perfect place for rest, a beautiful place for contemplation near the mother of our Lord. The mountain heights, the scenic beauty, below the sea, the bay. But Scala also meant poverty. In the mountains lived groups of shepherds and goatherds who came to the missionaries asking them for the gospel, the word of life. Alphonsus, surprised by the longing for these people for God's words, recalled the words of the prophet, the babies long for food, but there is no one to give it to them. His first biographer tells us that when Alphonsus left Scala after preaching to these people, they would weep, asking him to stay behind. He left them, returned to Naples. But while in Naples, he discerned and prayed and realized that God was choosing him to return to Scala. Surely there was poverty in Naples as well. But there were many others there, many priests who could help the poor escape from their place, their marginalization in society. Whereas in Scala, the poor shepherds and goatherds were alone, with no one to help them, abandoned by all, including the church. During Alphonsus's time, the shepherds and the peasants were the most downtrodden, abandoned group in society. They were hardly considered as people. They were a disgrace of nature. It's because of their lot and their suffering that Alphonsus chose to be close to them by their side so that they would experience the power of God's word and feel as people of God. On the 9th of November, 1732, Alphonsus returns to his beloved Scala and there with a group of a few others, he founded the congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer to pronounce, to proclaim good news to the poor and the abandoned. He was 36 years of age at the time, and he dedicated his entire life to proclaiming the good news to such poor people of the countryside, peasants, country folk. A few years later, on the 25th of February, 1749, Pope Benedict the 14th approved the rule of the congregation and from that time the congregation existed in the church. Redemptorist missionaries, priests and brothers continue the charism of Alphonsus in the church and in society today. Strong in faith, rejoicing in hope, burning with charity, on fire with zeal, in humility of heart and persevering in prayer Redemptorists as apostolic men and genuine disciples of St. Alphonsus follow Christ the Redeemer with hearts full of joy, denying themselves 
and always ready to undertake what is demanding and challenging. They share in the mystery of Christ and proclaim it in gospel simplicity of life and language, that they may bring to people plentiful redemption. I've quoted from our Redemptorist Constitution, number 20. Redemptorist priests and brothers live in missionary communities, always hospitable, welcoming, open and prayerful, like our Blessed Mother Mary. By means of missions, retreats, parish ministry, ecumenical apostolates, social justice ministry, the ministry of reconciliation and the teaching of moral theology, Redemptorists proclaim the love of God our Father through both the oral and the written word, which in Jesus dwelt amongst us, so as to become the profound mercy and the word of life which nourishes the human heart and gives life and meaning so as to live the fullest in joy as children of the Father. Following St. Alphonsus, Redemptorists make a very clear option for the poor by being alongside them, journeying with them, so that the poor and abandoned can experience the power of God's Word to be children of God. Today, we Redemptorists are around 4,600 priests and brothers. We work in about 83 countries in all five continents, helped by men and women who collaborate in our mission and together we form one Redemptorist family, one missionary body. Our mother of perpetual health is the missionary icon of the congregation. In addition to St. Alphonsus, three other Redemptorists have been canonized. St. Gerard Magella, a young brother, companion of St. Alphonsus. St. Clement Hofbauer, who carried the congregation over the Alps from Italy to Poland and then to Austria. And St. John Neumann, who worked with migrants in the United States. We also have many blessed and martyrs. For example, Gennaro Maria Cernelli, patron of prostitutes who worked for them in Naples at the time of Alphonsus. Blessed Stan Gesinger from Germany, who worked with young seminarians. Francis Xavier Sailors, again, who worked with immigrants in the United States of America. Peter Donders, who worked with lepers in Suriname. We have Redemptorist martyrs from the Ukraine, from Slovakia, and even from Spain. To name a few, the two bishops, Czarnecki and Wilichkowski, Method Trichka from Slovakia, a couple of Redemptorist Spanish martyrs like Pedro Romero, and above all, a young woman, lay woman, Maria Conchita, recently beatified from Spain. I'd like now to invite our very own Redemptorist brother, Consultant General, Brother Larry Luhan, to share with you about the vocation of the Redemptorist Missionary Brother. Redemptorist brothers are men who choose to belong to the congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer by religious profession, committing themselves to the Redemptorist missionary charism in the church. They are not clerics, they are laymen. The brother is understood through his taking of religious vows. His identity does not identify with the ordained ministry, and it does not depend upon it. The brother's vocation is a gift that he receives from God, and therefore a gift that he shares with his confreres in the fraternal life in the community and to the church as a whole. Brothers are called to live prophetic lives that testify how Jesus lived on this earth, poor, chaste, and obedient to the Father, and to announce how the kingdom of God will be in its perfection. They are called to live and witness in a more visible way, a sign of fraternity that unites with one another. 
and to proclaim their lives in proclaiming plentiful redemption found in Jesus, first within the community and then in the missionary activity of the congregation. The prophetic witness of being a redemptress brother is to point out to others the only way to happiness, of greatness, a path that fills us with joy is the way of Jesus. It is a way of being. To be like Jesus then is to be close to the people, sharing their joys and sorrows, showing with our love the fatherly face of God and the motherly caress of the church. It is witnessing to the Father and His merciful love with the grace of Christ, being able to instill hope in this humanity of ours, marked by anxiety and fear and sometimes tempted by discouragement. It is making felt the renewing force of the Beatitudes, of honesty, of compassion, the value of goodness, of simple, essential life, full of meaning, nourishing hope in the church. It is a radical following of Jesus, which comprises at one and the same time a life specially dedicated to God and a life of missionary work. As a result of the new reflections on the vocation and role of the brothers after the Second Vatican Council, there has been a change both in the formation of brothers and in the different types of ministries in which they are involved. Today, brothers are not only involved in our domestic tasks in our churches, shrines, or houses, but they are also engaged in other ministries, like professors, financial managers, health workers, experts in media and lawyers, just to name a few. A man desirous of being a brother and entering the congregation who is interested in practicing a profession is as welcome as someone who would voluntarily attend to the needs of our homes, churches, and shrines. So my dear Redemptorist confreres, Redemptorist teen sisters and sisters who share our Redemptorist missionary charism, our Redemptoristly associates, partners, collaborators and missionaries, I invite you to celebrate this month of November as the month of the Redemptorist missionary vocation. First, by praying for vocations to the Redemptorist way of life as a brother or as a priest, as a lay associate, collaborator or missionary. Then by inviting young men to know more about our Redemptorist missionary vocation, by pointing them out to a Redemptorist community of brothers and priests nearest to you, or to our Redemptorist web page and internet sites to know more about us, Redemptorist, and our Redemptorist missionary vocation. Finally, I invite you all now to join us in prayer. Let us pray for vocations to the Redemptorist family. Father, we thank you for the blessings you have given us in Christ, our Redeemer. Let your Spirit overshadow your people, making your gentle invitation heard in many hearts. Lord of the harvest, bless the Redemptorist family throughout the world with many vocations, so that those in greatest need will experience the good news of redemption. May your love grow among us and your kingdom come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I also now invite you to a prayer for vocations to the entire Redemptorist family. Provident God, you spoke your dream of plentiful redemption in Jesus Christ. Your spirit ignited the heart of St. Alphonsus, inspiring him to found a family in the church dedicated to proclaiming the good news of plentiful redemption to the most abundant. Raise up among us strong women and men of faith, on fire with love for you and zeal for the mission of proclaiming your word among those who do not know you 
or who need to hear your word proclaimed anew. Guide men to respond with generosity as vowed redemptorists, priests and brothers, and women and men to serve in joy and hope as partners in the Redemptress mission. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your word, who is our Lord and life. Amen. Mother of perpetual help, pray for us. St. Alphonsus, all our saints, blessed and martyrs, pray for us.